Hey guys, how's it going out there? I'm Rose, welcome to the channel. If this is your first time, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you like food like the rest of us here love. And uh, FYI, I put up videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't forget and you won't miss anything. And anywho, let's move on to what we're making. So what are we making? A couple days ago, I put up on Facebook the question, what you guys would like for me to make. So you guys decided what recipes you wanted to see this week. It was between two things, a beef wellington, vegan of course, or a shepherd's pie, and you guys decided on a shepherd's pie. So that's what we're making today. Let's get veggie. So first things first, we're gonna add about one tablespoon of oil, of olive oil into our pan. Whoops. So I poured in the beefless grounds when I wasn't supposed to. Again, we're going to do the tablespoon of oil. And what we're going to be adding in here, instead of the beefless grounds, because that's not going in there just yet, we're going to be adding in some onion. The full recipe will be linked down below. We've also got some celery. And some shredded carrots. I'm adding in a little bit of salt and pepper and we're gonna let this kind of just like soften up and become translucent. Well, the onions will become translucent and everything else will sort of soften up. Now that our onions are translucent, I'm gonna be adding, I'm gonna make a little well in the center and I'm gonna add our garlic. We have two garlic cloves that have been, uh, I don't mince the garlic, I kinda just like shred it or yeah, I put it through a little shredder so I don't have to do any mincing and it's super easy. So I'm just letting the garlic cook in the center until it gets fragrant, which shouldn't take long at all. Now we're gonna add our two and a half cups of our garden, or I'm sorry, I should say beefless grounds. And I am gonna add a touch of oil, you can do water if you are oil free. Of course you can saute your veggies in oil as well, but I'm just gonna add a bit of oil so that my uh, beefless ground doesn't stick to the pan because we don't wanna have any burned food. It's so pretty and colorful, I love it. I'm just gonna add a bit more of pepper. I like to go a little crazy with the pepper because we just really enjoy pepper in the household, in this household. <laughs> I'm also adding some garlic powder, onion powder, and cumin. Delicious. And I'm adding a tablespoon of nutritional yeast. Sounds like a lot, but trust me, it'll all be worth it. Next, for added flavor, I'm adding a teaspoon of of this better than bouillon seasoning and this is the vegetable kind and it's pretty much it's like a kind of like a chicken bouillon but it's vegetarian slash vegan and i'm just adding that in there for some extra flavor because if you guys have made any of my recipes you know i am all about that flavor the tastier the better, of course. Nobody wants to eat bland food. The food's already vegan, which some people just seem to be turned off by before they even try it. So why in the world have it be bland, right? All right, so our vegan beef here is done, or our vegan meat. Oh my goodness, I wish that you guys could smell how good it smells. Next thing we're doing is adding this into our little casserole dish. This is a small size or a small portion. And I'm using a, I want to say this is a six by six casserole dish, if I'm not mistaken. You could of course use an eight by eight. It'll just be a little more shallow. And next we already have some mashed potatoes, which I just finished making. You can lazy it out and do box mashed potatoes, but I decided this time around to make real mashed potatoes for this. And what you're gonna do is just spread this all evenly across the top. And now for the finishing touch, I'm gonna shred a little bit of this Dea cheese. This is the Monterey uh, 
Jack style blocks of cheese. And out of all the Daya cheeses, these block cheeses are my favorite because they act the most like cheese and they taste the most like cheese whenever I do use it. So I'm just being a little generous over the top of that. Uh, we can add a little more, right? Why not? Why not? <laughs> so I'm going to place this into the preheated oven. It's been preheated at 350 degrees. We're going to place it into the oven until everything becomes nice and golden on top. All right, so we are out of the oven now. It's nice and crispy and yummy over top. And I know I should be using something else to cut into this, but it's okay. It's not a big deal. So I'm just using <laughs> a spoon. And I'm going around the edges, and we're going to place this on our little tiny plate. Oh, yes. So I'm going to sprinkle on just a little extra pepper over top just because, just because. And I'm going in for the taste, you guys. Here we go. Some of that more, some of that. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It's hot, <laughs> but it's oh so good. I don't mean hot spicy. I mean, like, hot just fresh out the oven. You guys have to try this recipe out. It's super duper yummy. And let me know what you guys think. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food could be. And I will talk to you guys very soon. I love you all.